Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to work on the single product page. So if you if you click on one of these uh, products, nothing is going to happen. And of course, we don't want that. We want to display if user clicks on uh, a product, we want to display a product the product in a uh, single page and display information about that product and uh, how to add that product to the cart and so many different things about that specific product that, that the user is interested in. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, open my project and then I'm going to create a new file. Here I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to click on this icon and then I'm going to create a new file called single product single underscore product.html and uh, since the single product.html will have the footer and header it will have the navbar and the, and the footer we need to copy the footer and the uh, navbar from from the index or from the shop let's copy copy them from the index so I'm going to open up the index and in the index here I'm going to copy I'm going to start copying from the beginning here all the way to to the body first to the body and then I'm going to paste it in the single product uh, that HTML then we need to copy the the lower part which is which is these three lines I'm going to copy these three lines and then I'm going to paste them here I'm going to paste them here okay, uh, you need to give yourself some space here and then paste that code here now we need to display the navigation bar so I'm gonna again head on over back to the index and then I'm gonna scroll up. so I'm gonna scroll up and then I'm gonna close this navigation bar and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this navigation bar I'm gonna copy it and then I'm gonna paste it in the single product that is Gmail I'm gonna paste it here and then I'm gonna close it one more time because we don't want to confuse ourselves and then I'm gonna copy the footer as well so from the index if you scroll down you should find that we have the footer so I'm gonna copy the footer as well and then I'm gonna paste the footer below the the navigation bar but you need to leave here space because we need to add code here so I'm gonna here give, give myself some space and then I'm gonna paste the footer and then I'm gonna close the footer as well I'm gonna cl close here this footer so now we have the navigation bar and we have the footer let me click on file and then save all and let's test that in the browser so now in the browser I'm gonna to go to the single underscore product dot HTML and then I'm gonna hit enter and as you can see we have the navigation bar as well as the footer now we need to work on the content so the content will contain a single image with all uh, uh, with all its information so the design is going to be like this on the left side I'm going to display the product image and on the right side I'm going to display information about the product as well as a button to add to the to, to cart and the quantity and also the price all of these things on the right side so images will be on the left side whereas information will be on the right side so let's work on the design so here in the single product.html what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new section here. I'm going to say here section. Section. And then I'm going to give this section a class. I'm going to say here class. And that class is going to be a single product. And I'm going to also give it margin uh, Y, margin top and bottom, 5. And also uh, margin, uh, also padding top, 5. And uh, inside that uh, section, uh, we want to divide the page into two uh, uh, columns. Therefore, I'm going to say here div. And then for this div, I'm going to give it the uh, row class because we want to divide the page into two columns. And I'm going to also give this uh, this div a margin top 5. And inside this inside this div, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a, another div. I'm going to say here div. And this div will contain the image on the left side. 
So I'm going to first give this div a class, and that class is going to be column large 5, because we want it to take 5 out of 12 columns for large screens. For medium screens, I'm going to let this take 6 out of 12. For, large, for small screens, I'm going to give it 12 columns. That's it. Now inside this div, we want to display the image. So I'm going to say image. And then for this image, I'm going to say source. And let's use one of the images that we already have. I'm going to say assets, images. Let's use the featured one. And then I'm going to give this image a class. I'm going to say here class. First, I'm going to give it the image fluid, which is going to make the image responsive. I'm going to also give it a width 100%, 100 with 100% so that it takes the complete uh, uh, parent size. Also, I'm going to give it a padding bottom. I'm going to say PB1, padding bottom 1. Uh, and uh, let me here save and let me head on over to the browser and test. So now if I refresh, as you can see, we have this image. Uh, but we, of course, we need to work on the design further because I want to display the image. Uh, I want to make this image uh, smaller. Uh, but before I work on this, let's work on the small images because I'm going to be uh, displaying the varieties of that product. So below this image, I'm going to display uh, small images uh, that represent the different varieties of that product. So below this div, what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to create um, another another div, uh, but it must be inside this div. Inside, it must be here. Be uh, uh, actually below the image, not not below the div, because because we want the images to be to be displayed below this image, not below the div itself. So below the image, I'm going to say div, and then I'm going to give this div a class, and that class is going to be I'm going to name it small image group and for this small image group I'm gonna uh, also uh, create another div inside it and uh, I'm gonna give this image also another class called small image column and I'm gonna display inside it one image I'm gonna say here image and I'm gonna give it here a source and let's use one of the images that we already have I'm going to say assets, images, featured to the JPEG. And uh, I'm going to also give it a width. I'm going to say width 100%. And I'm going to give it a class, class called small image. Let me save and let me head on over to the browser and uh, test. So in the browser now, as you can see, we will have one image. Uh, let's let's now display other images. So uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to copy this section, this div. I'm going to copy this div, and I'm going to paste it four times. So I'm going to copy this, and inside the same uh, the same uh, div here below this, I'm going to paste it one, two, three. So we should have one, two, three, four. We should have four divs like this. Now let me change the images, so I'm going to say here featured 1 and then featured 2 and then featured 3 and then featured 4 and then here featured, let's say, let's use another image, let me use the uh, clothes 1. Let me now save and let me head on over to the browser and refresh and we should have now uh, other images, so we have 1, 2, 3 and 4, so we have all of these images. Of course, we need to display these images uh, below the product, the, the the product that we that we want to display uh, as as varieties of that product. So they must be displayed here uh, in small um, uh, containers. So let's work on this. So in order to work on this, uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, create uh, CSS classes. Therefore, I'm going to head on over to uh, the CSS here, CSS, 
style.css and then in the style let's work on this. So I'm going to scroll to the bottom and then let's work on this. So here I'm going to say small small image uh, group and for the small image group I'm going to remember this small image group is this one. It represents it represents this small image group. It, represent, it represents the dev that contains all of the small images. So for this we need to give it a display flex. Display flex. And we need also to give it uh, uh, justify content uh, space space between. Let me save and let me show you what this is going to do. So if I refresh now, as you can see, these images will be small. But they don't have the same sizes, so we need to fix their sizes. Therefore, I'm going to work on the other class, which is the small column, small image column. Small image call. Remember, here in the single product, for each image, I have given each image a class called uh, small image call. So here, in order to, to make all images have the same exact uh, width and height, we need to say flex, flex basis, flex basis 24% or 25. And let's also give it cursor. Cursor, it means that the, the image is, is going to be clickable. Let me now save and refresh. And as you can see, all of the images will have the same exact um, width and height. You might uh, find some images a little bigger than others, and that, the reason is because some images are originally great, uh, bigger uh, in terms of the size than others. This is why I always, uh, I have always been telling you that you need to make sure that your all, all of your images, all of your product images, have the same exact size. Otherwise, you will even if you try to uh, uh, resize them using CSS, some images because they are or because they are originally small, they will not uh, they will not look uh, uh, they will not fill the complete uh, uh, the complete container. This is this is the only problem that we will have.